Hey guys, this is Shakti Tech here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'll be teaching you guys on how to manually install and update the stock firmware on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. The method we'll be using involves the usage of the program called Odin and does not require a rooted smartphone. And the prerequisites for this, this method is to have a working computer, a USB cable, like this, and a compatible Android Galaxy smartphone, the firmware itself, and a program called Odin, which I'll teach you how to install later. Get right into the process now. So first go to this website that I'll put in the description below. It's the first link, which is Odin Download. And scroll down, and click the first download now. And you should download something called Odin 3.12.3. And once you have downloaded that and extracted it to somewhere in your computer, you should be greeted with these three files. Okay, click Odin Tree, and the program should look like this. Okay. Okay. Next thing you will need is the Samsung firmware that is specific to your smartphone. So for this, you need to go to. Uh, a website called Sam Mobile and go to the section firmware now for this process you would need to create an account just create an account it's very simple here there'll be a register button just create an account and go to firmware okay then search for my model number okay at the firmware section and press your model number okay just key in your model number just n i want to see now if you're not sure about your model number just Go to your smartphone and go to settings and about device. It should be there, the model number. For my smartphone, it's N910C and I'll click it. Okay. And press search. Okay. I should be greeted with the country's respective firmware. Search for your own country's one. It's recommended to search for your respective country's firmware. But you can install the firmware from other countries as well but that won't ensure maximum compatibility okay for me it's Malaysia then you just press regular download and as long as you have an account you can download this you should be greeted with the screen and just press download you have to wait for 30 seconds now once it has download, downloaded you have to extract the file and you'll get a .tar file okay very important now now you won't need the internet anymore, you will need Odin, okay, this program right here. Now go to your smartphone, okay, go to your smartphone. What you have to do is, power it down. Okay, you should have this screen and next step is to hold the down but, but volume down button, power button and the home button at the same time. Okay, now I'll do that. Okay, it's very hard to do it one hand. Okay, I'll show put it down first. Okay, once you have pressed that, you should be greeted with the screen which says here warning a custom OS can cause critical problems in phone and install applications. So you should press volume up, continue, and you should have this screen which is downloading to not turn off target. Now, once you've reached here, which is o.com.5, you click on options make sure repartition is not clicked okay very important if not you can hard break your phone okay make sure it's not clicked there should not be a tick there and press ap and search for your download file just now which was the dot tar file you can see here you only accepts dot tar dot md5 dot smd you need a dot tar file once you select the file Let's say I'll 
select the file and then I press open okay once you press open just press start okay and there should be a blue bar that should go over here once it finished the phone will boot up itself and you should be good to go okay and this is how you install firmware manually on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone that's all guys for today's video so basically in this video I've taught you all how to manually install and update the firmware of your Samsung Galaxy smartphone I hope you guys found this video very useful and feel free to comment down below criticisms that are constructive regarding this video and also future video suggestions thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time